what's up YouTube? My name is Fly spelled with an I and this is Fly Heritage. I am coming to you from Bangkok, Thailand. Now, caveat, I'm not staying in the center of Bangkok. I am staying, I guess in the suburbs, kind of like 30, 45 minutes away, away from the center. Um, so I haven't seen any of the popular landmarks yet, like not one, <laughs> because I've just been kind of out in the suburbs in the quiet with this beautiful pool right here just really relaxing and um, regrouping and just chilling honestly but anyway today I've decided to go into the city and do as many landmarks or see as many landmarks as I possibly can so I'm going to call this the Bangkok landmark run I am waiting on my uber now so come with me Okay, so I made it to the first place on my landmark tour. This is the Suan Pagad, Suan Pagad Palace. And um, it was, you know, a little bit off the beaten path as far as what tourists would go see. Um, so it's a museum and I thought it would be a great chance to not only get a little bit of the history, a little bit of culture, but get some great pictures too. So, Suan Pagad or Pagad Palace. Some places have it spelled with um, an A-R and some people have it just uh, A-D. So I don't know if it's Pagad or Pagad, but I'm here. It took about 40 minutes to get here. <sighs> Bangkok traffic, 40, 45 minutes. I was like, oh my gosh, Bangkok traffic, man. It took forever, but um, you know, it looks beautiful. Ooh, there we go. It looks beautiful. So we want to grab some photos and take a take a look at the galleries and we'll go from there. So one check. I want to give you all a sneak peek of the inside of the house. I'm not going to show you everything because you have to come to Bangkok and see for yourself, but it is truly, truly a sight to behold. Wow. This is like opulence. <laughs> All right, that's it. Okay, okay, okay. Spot number two. This is Wat been something something i'll put the name on on the screen but um this is a temple i'm probably going to have to put on my scarf because most temples don't allow you to walk around with you know your no sleeves or whatever but check number two i'm excited So I made it to site number four in time, which is the Grand Palace. I'm so excited about it. I only have a few minutes to look around before they start ushering people out, I think. But I'm going to take some photos and try to get some video for you all. And um, that's that. Oh yeah, so um, the Thai King died not too long ago. So there are a ton of people here paying their respects and um, etc etc people are coming from all over the country to pay their respects so um, I don't know how that will affect the experience or if it will okay you all super duper excited this is stop number five this is Wat Pho which is where the no Wat Pho which is where the uh, sleeping Buddha or the reclining Buddha is so I'm really excited first when you walk in you see these intricately I don't I don't know what to call them um, but they are gorgeous so we're going to look at this and then go take a picture with the um, sleeping Buddha
the sign above me. It says ferry to Wat Arun. I paid um, to go across, so I paid my money. But the waters were so rough, like it was rocking before I even got on the boat, and I easily get seasick. So I was like, you know what? Don't think that's worth it. So I'm not going to um, get any. I mean, I'm not going to go. And I'm looking at them moving right now. And it is just, I don't want to. So I didn't, but that's it. <laughs> so I scratched that one off the list. So I'm going to add Coastal Road to the to the list um, since I took Wad Arun off. So which number um, landmark it is, but there is the giant swing right behind me. So that's number, mm -hmm. All right, it's really loud right here, so I'm going to keep moving. I don't know which temple this is. Let's add that to the landmarks as well. But listen to the chants. Boom, unintentional landmark. Add that to the list. It's a canal. It's the point where um, the old current, the old and current city moat separating into two canals. That's what that says. But boom, add that to the landmark. But I am looking for Wat Saket. I see it kind of in the distance. Can you see it shining? But I just have to figure out how to get over there. Okay. There is Wat Saket. I don't know how to get over there, honestly. Um. And I might be tired of looking. No, let's just go ahead and call the thing a thing. I am tired of looking for it. For the entrance, and I'm not sure I'll be able to go up there anyway since it's night time. So boom. That's the landmark. I think that ends I think that ends my landmark tour. I'm not gonna make it to Kosan unless it's really close. But I'll get you all a little bit of the sign. Boom, the golden mouth. Boom. That's it though. <laughs> Kosan Road. Surprise, surprise, surprise. I surprised myself. I didn't think I was gonna make it. Because I am tired. And it already looks like it's about to be a whole bunch of ridiculousness. So I'll show you all what I can. But that's that. Kosan. Hair jewelry? Look at that. Oh, they braid hair. Or they do locks hair. Cool. Or is it really? I don't know. Okay. Well, there's that. Anyway, this is Kosan Road. I'm going to try not to get lost. Well, this sucks. So I'm finally home from my day of sightseeing and I'm locked out of the building. Like, it's just not opening. I guess after a certain hours, they locked the doors, as you can see there. And none of my three keys work. So, um, all I wanted to do was shower and go to bed. However, that doesn't look like that's going to happen right now. I've tried two other doors. Uh, I couldn't get in either of those doors. So I'm gonna try that door over there. So I have to walk out and try to come back in after that. I don't know what I'm going to do, but this sucks. <laughs> I'm so tired. I've been out for like 13 hours or 12, no. 11 to 12 hours so I'm tired and I can't get in so there's that okay that works so I had to go around so I guess it's only open from the um, from the 
garage. It's not open from the other entrance, but I'm in now. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank you for spending the day with me as I ran around Bangkok. I greatly appreciate it. Stay lifting and loving light. Ciao.